Hi friend, it's me, Jen of Jen on the Run. Today, I'm taking myself out on a solo date. Justin is sadly injured. He's at home, he's okay, but um, he's not able to get around very easily. So today, I'm taking myself out and around town. I'm here in downtown Los Angeles at MOCA, the Museum of Contemporary Art. Believe it or not, I've lived in LA for 15 years and I have never been to MOCA. So I figured it was time to take myself out, enjoy the afternoon, and actually look at some artwork. I've also been feeling a little bit of an accretive rut lately. I've just been sluggish and a little unmotivated and not feeling super inspired. So I'm trying to get over that hurdle by being inspired by all the artwork around me at these museums. So come on, join me on my solo date adventure in downtown LA. Looks like I'll be doing Mocha and the Bro today. I just finished at Mocha. It was really nice. Uh, actually pretty small. Uh, I was expecting a little bit more, to be honest, but it was quiet in there. There weren't a lot of people, which was so nice. And it's just like a great solo place to reflect and think about like all the meaning of all, every piece of art. But I got to see the permanent collection and they had a lot of really great pieces of artwork that by really well-known modern artists. They had this amazing blue Rothko there that was really powerful and like huge. It takes up like the whole wall. So um, I really enjoyed that. And of course, the best thing about it, it was completely free, uh, which I love. So that was really nice. I think I'm gonna take a little break now and just grab a quick coffee and maybe a pastry and have a little afternoon pick-me-up, my like favorite thing. I love getting a little dessert in the afternoon and a coffee before I head to the road. So I just finished at Mocha. It was a really nice visit. I saw a lot of powerful arts Art has this way of being so political, and I really like that because it just says a lot about the world that we live in and everything that's surrounding us. Before I head into the road, I am treating myself to a little cappuccino and a pastry. I got this, which I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation, but it's Italian, and I think it's like, Strofiatella, Strofiatella. Yeah, I'll put the spelling in the description so you actually know what it is, but I remember eating one of these when I was in Naples, Italy in 2018. And as soon as I saw it at this cafe, I knew I had to get it. So I think it's a sign and I'm really excited to try it out. So it's just a quick coffee break to uh, have some refreshments before I dig into more art. There's so much powdered sugar on it, it just like fell off. Have you ever had that moment where you've been eating powdered sugar and you like inhale at the same time and accidentally it just, you choke because you need to go straight up your nostrils? Yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen. It tastes just like how I remember. I honestly almost got a slice of chocolate ganache cake. But I think this was better. That was gonna leave me feeling really heavy and full. So, I mean, 
this is gray too, but a little bit lighter, maybe? I don't know. And especially paired with the coffee, it makes me feel like I'm right in Italy. This cafe is called Vespaio, and I even saw like there's an Italian groceries in there. You can buy like pasta and some nice oils imported from Italy. This is like really nice and crunchy exterior. This is great. It kind of reminds me of like a little shell. And on the inside, there's like a paste. Marsh Capone paste, maybe? Marsh Capone. Really nice flavor. Like almond. <music> Robert Therian's Under the Table, made in 1994. It's like this huge dining table. Okay, just sat down to take a little breather at the road here. I gotta say, I do really love the Broad, um, their permanent collection. There's been a couple changes since I was here last, and there's a couple new pieces of art, and I really do love it here. There's definitely more people here than there were at, at MoCA, um, which, you know, it, it's okay. Um, I did like how MoCA was really quiet, but the art was um their collection there is smaller they're also switching over an exhibition when i came in so i'm sure if i had like caught it on a different day i'd be able to see that the additional exhibition but um so far it's been a really nice visit i was able to catch like the tail end of a tour tour when i first came in so that was really nice to actually have a guided tour and have a a tour guide who can explain the work and kind of knows a bit about the artist so you're not entirely just left in the dark wondering like what does this mean but yeah i'm getting tons of inspiration just looking at the different material that's used the different messages that the artists want to portray through their work there's so much color and form it's really inspiring I don't know what this is. I really don't know what this is, but it's making the whole room like purple and blue. It looks cool. All right, I just got out of the road. It was so nice. Lots of really thought-provoking art in there. Jean-Michel Basquiat is a really prominent uh, Haitian Puerto Rican artist, and the Broad has a lot of his pieces. I think up to eight pieces, and so that was really cool. The nice thing about this part of downtown is that you have three big museums here, or well. Uh, attractions, destinations. So we have the Broad, which is right behind me, MOCA, which is right over there. Um, actually, that's the Colburn School, but MOCA's in that direction. And then here we have the Walt Disney Concert Hall, which is amazing, designed by Frank Gehry. So you can walk among all three of these and take a whole day. Uh, you could even catch a show to see LA Phil here at the Walt Disney Concert Hall. Let me show you some of this amazing architecture at the concert hall. As you can 
see there's doing a photo shoot right now. Very popular spot for LA's photographers and models to take shots. Okay, friends, can we talk about my museum outfit for a hot second? This shirt is like the statement shirt. I pulled it out and I was like, oh yeah, this is definitely what I'm wearing today. Take a look at the pattern on this. Isn't it cool? It's just like so colorful and so creative and just, just spoke to me. I was like, oh, this is definitely my museum outfit for today. I mean, look at it. So I rented this shirt from Newly. Uh, I mentioned this uh, in another video that I did um, about packing tips for Columbia, but Newly is a subscription rental service where you can get new clothes every month. And I am obsessed with it. I get to be able to refresh my wardrobe and have kind of a sustainability factor by renting clothes that other women wear. So I'm not buying new clothes. I'm not like contributing to a ton of pollution in the air, air pollution. Um, and I get like this cool piece. It has like these like bell sleeves. It has like a nice collar. I wore a little undershirt with it. So, yeah, just had to give a quick shout out to that. All right, friends, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me today on my solo date throughout downtown LA. I had such a really nice time. I just, this, I really needed this. This is just such, so relaxing to spend some time to myself. I feel like having a solo experience, whether it's solo travel or if it's solo time on your own, it just helps you stop and think a little bit more about the outside world. It helps slow you down and helps me pause and really observe everything that's going on around me. I love being with another person, of course, and I actually kind of felt a little lonely today at times, but I think that solo time is really essential to reflecting within and then also observing and soaking in everything around me on the outside. So that's what I really loved about today's journey is I was able to be inspired by so much art today and hopefully I'll return home and be able to channel all that energy into my creative work now, into creating more vlogs for you guys, creating more blog posts. I feel so re-energized, like I recharge my batteries and now I'm ready to go home and just apply it to all the content that I, that's on the way. So thanks again for watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and be sure to subscribe. There's definitely more LA vlogs on the way soon. Stay tuned for next week's adventure on Jen on the Run.